I did that in, in Rebel Moon. There's a bit where I put that, there's a part where um, Sophia's character says, like, that they basically say they encouraged me to find a lover in the military academy because when the politics of war became too abstract, like, okay, take that beach or, like, climb that mountain, a lot of times, you know, soldiers like, what, why? Like, there's no why. But, like, if you're, but if you have a lover who's next to you, who's your life, and if they get killed or they're in danger, you're, you get, you know, yeah. you're going to be back it's on different. it. You're back on it. Yeah. And I think that it's an interesting, we don't, of course, in our modern society, we don't play with that aspect of, you know, in war. We try not to anyway. We seem not to. But, you know, like with using f the relationship to create a bond. So it, it's an interesting, I mean, like, you yeah, know, there's, there's, of, there's camaraderie, brotherhood, sure. of course. But they've but replaced that extreme. aspect of it with technology. Yeah, a little bit. Which, yeah, which is interesting. And maybe that's, maybe that's good. But Maybe it is good. But I mean, I could imagine a world in the future where things go totally sideways, where we go back to that. Yeah, absolutely. We'll make a movie about it. That's, that's <laughs> I mean, that's, that is a possible future dystopian movie. Like yeah. a, a new Spartas, the Spartas of the, you know, 2059. Well, as soon as like, you know, what, what is that Einstein thing? You know, if World War Three is fought with nuclear weapons, World War Four will be fought with rocks. Yeah. <laughs> to 